Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus Dominion painting tutorial and today we are painting Stormcast Annihilators in the colours of the Celestial Vindicators. Yes, look at them. They are chonky, they are awesome and we are about to get started. They have been primed in grey sear and well, we're going to jump right in. We're going to just put these two to the side. I'm going to focus on him. Uh, for now but we will give you several updates throughout the painting process so without further ado we're going to jump in and start painting him and we're going to be starting with the armor now the color we're going to be using is Achillean green and what we want to do is you just want to get this Achillean green all over all of his armor panels now what we want to do is we want to avoid a couple of areas with the Achillean green these are going to be this little area here with the half moon as well as the inside of the front of the pauldron because you can see the back is just one long continuous piece we also are going to avoid getting this Achillean green where possible on any of the trim it doesn't matter too much if we do get some on there because well we're going to be going over that with a metallic anyway and the metallic will cover up any contrast mistakes It's always nice to just be a little bit neat. So with that done, you should have some pretty awesome looking Celestial Vindicator armor. But what we're going to do now is we're going to darken it down just a little bit, add a little bit more tone and depth into that armor. And the color we're going to use is a roughly six parts contrast medium to one part Achillean green mix. And what we want to do is similarly again, we just want to paint this all over the top of the armor. Now you want to be very careful here because you don't want to use too much because it is quite runny. If you use too much, you can quickly get away from you. So just be careful with how much you have on your brush. You don't want any drips forming. But you can go reasonably quickly here because it is so runny. And it covers over very quickly and very simply. Just like this. So you just want to go all over. like I'm doing here. And then we'll come back. And with that done, you should now have some beautiful Celestial Vindicator armor just like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on. We're not going to do any highlights just yet. And the color that we're going to use is Black Templar. And we're going to be using this for all of the soft details and the back of the shield. So what I'm going to do is just take this Black Templar, pick a place to start, and I'm going to start back here. Now, it doesn't matter if you've got Achillean green in these areas, the black will cover over it absolutely perfectly. no problems at all. Just like this. As an addendum to the previous take, what we're also going to be doing is we're going to be using the Black Templar over the 
symbol on the forearm on their right arms. Just there. Like that. We're also going to be using it over the crescent moon. Around here. Like that. What we also want to do is use it over the top of the face on the shield. And so with that black, finally all applied to all of the correct details. <laughs> what we're now gonna do is we're gonna use some apothecary white. We're gonna use this over the pauldron. So this area here. Like that. What we're also going to do is we're going to use it over this little white section just here. Like so. And with that apothecary white applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some thinned down retributor armor. And use this to paint in all of our gold details. So this is going to include areas like a large lion face here on the chest, various bits of trim on each of the armor panels, this gem here, the lightning around the outside of the shield and of course the rim around the shield and any of the other details that you want to be gold. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some Blood Angels Red. We're going to use this for all of the leather details and the soft grip on his weapon. So the leather details, we've got the belt just here, for example. goes one way around. We've got, for example, the straps. On their arms as well. Just come over here and finish that one off. And then of course, we have this soft grip on the hammer as well. Just like this. And with that Blood Angels Red applied, what we then want to do is take some Dark Oath Flesh and we want to use this over the top of the leather details, but not the soft grip. We don't want to do it over that. We just want to do it over the belt and the straps. And this is just to kind of make them look a little bit leathery. By adding just a little bit of kind of a fleshy brown in. like this. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thin down lead belcher. We're going to use this to colour in all of our silver details. And this is going to include the scale mail, 
down here and on the back. It's going to include their belt buckles. It's going to include the weapon. And also the shield facing. There we go, that's the first part of the mail done. We've got the belt buckle just there. Like that. And of course, as I say, we've got the shield. As well. And with that done, what we're now going to do is going to take some skeleton hoard and apply this to the paper here on the back of the prime. Just like that. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Dark Oath Flash. I'm going to use this to paint in the skin on his face. Just like that. So with that done, it's now time to add a few shades to the model. And the first one we're going to be using is some Fire Slayer Flash. And I'm going to use this all over the gold. Just been real careful now around all those lovely colours that we've already finished. Nice smooth coverage over these areas. So just be careful with how much paint you have on your brush. You don't want too much. Otherwise, it'll get away from you. And with that done, what we now want to do is take some Basilicanum Grey. We want to apply this all over the top of all of our silver. Just like this. So with those shades applied, what we're now going to do is going to once again use some Retributor Armour. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do a little bit of relayering. So firstly what we're going to do is just going to relayer the inside of the shield, just going and avoiding any of the recesses. So we kind of want to go up to where the, the lip of the shield front is, just there like that to make it nice and bright. You want to go all the way around. This isn't technically a highlight. Some respects it is. So there we go. We want to do that around the this just around this area because we're not going to do this all over because we want to do some highlights to really make that gold stand out. But what we also want to do is on the kind of chest plate here, what we want to do is we want to just brighten up the lion face because we've got some quite wide open spaces and the highlights will look quite stark on there. 
which we don't necessarily want. It's not a bad thing, but this guy, we don't really want it. So you just want to do like that across the kind of the cheeks of the lion and across the nose and a little bit around the eyes. Just add a little bit here as well. A little bit there. Like that. You can also do the same thing on the knee if you want to. You don't have to. So I'm just going to pick out the nose there. And the cheeks like that. You don't need to worry about the rest of the details like these kind of lightning bolts and stuff because we do want stark highlights on them because they're quite small details. The rest of it we just want to go around. So with that done, you should have some Stormcast Annihilators that look somewhat like this in the colours of the Celestial Vindicators. And there they are from behind. That's what they look like. Looking pretty good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take them to the next level because these are what I would call a kind of war hipster battle ready. So we're going to take them to the next level by adding some highlights. I'm just going to pop our two cronies to one side. We're going to pick up our prime once again. And the first color we're going to be using is Temple Guard Blue. We're going to be using this to highlight all of his armor. So we just want to start picking out all of the edges and all of the rivets. Just like this. With that done, what we're now going to do is going to take a teeny tiny amount of Baharoth blue. We're going to use this as a little spot highlight, just picking out the sharpest areas. So for example, just around there, around the bottom side of that kind of circular bit. But also, we want to pick out things like the rivets and the corners of the armor plates. You can do as much of this or as little of this as you like. It's just to give it that extra little bit of shine. Stormcast deserves. And so with our armor all highlighted, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thins down Corax white. We're going to use this to basically re-layer our white details whilst just avoiding where that apothecary white is really settled. So for example, just there like that. Similarly, on the pauldron. Like this. With that done, what we then want to do is take a tiny amount of white scar and use this just to highlight the edges of our white. Just like that. And with that white scar applied, it's now time to move on. We're going to highlight the red leather, the color we're going to be using for this. Jucaro orange. I 
Just like that, just picking out those edges on those red leather details. With that Jacaro orange applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Dawnstone. I'm going to use this to highlight all of our black details. So I'm going to start here. On the shield. And with that done, what we're now going to do is going to highlight those metallics, starting with the gold. And the colour we're going to be using is Liberator Gold. Just like this, picking out all the edges. Like so. And with that done, what we're now going to do is going to use some thinned down iron hand steel. We're going to use this to highlight all of our silver. So on the shield, what we want to do is it's almost effectively like a relayer. Because there are so many like edges and things within this kind of shield facing. We want to make sure that this is nice and bright around all of these kind of cratery areas. Like this. I want to do the similar thing on the hammer, whereas on the scale mill, what we want to do is we just pick out every single one of these uh, well, scales, just leaving that reset where the shade is settled. And with that done, you should have some pretty awesome looking silver. So what we're going to do now is going to take some thin down storm host silver. I'm going to use this as a little spot highlight across both the silver and the gold. So for example, on the gold, what we want to do is we just want to add little bits of it to areas like the colours and the sharp corners, not the colours, to areas like the corners and the sharpest points. Like that. Similarly, around the crest of the shield, like that, and across the large studs. And similarly, on the silver, you just want to pick out the absolute sharpest edges. Just like that, just to give it that little bit of extra shine. So with that done, there's only a couple of things left to do. We've got the lightning that's coursing through the shield of the hammer. And we've got his face to do as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on that lightning first. And the colour we're going to be using is Baharoth Blue. And what we want to do is we want to thin it down a little bit more than you normally would. So it's quite runny. And this is just so it kind of flows into those recesses a little bit easier. What we want to do is very, very carefully start painting this Baharoth blue into the cracks in the shield and the hammer. Like so. I don't worry if it's a little too electric blue. We are going to darken it down just a little bit in a minute. But you 
you want to go around like this. You don't have to do all the cracks if you don't want to. It's entirely up to you. So with that done on the hammer and the shield, you should have some pretty cool looking lightning effects. But what we are gonna do now, as I said, is we're gonna darken it down. But what we're gonna do, is gonna create a roughly six parts Lamian medium to one part Tanisar blue. We're not gonna be using contrast medium here because we want this to be runnier. And what we wanna do is take a small amount of this Tanisar blue mix on our brush. And what you're gonna see is you're gonna see effect, which is really cool. Basically, what we want to do is just want to touch this Talazar blue into these areas like this, and it's just going to run out in between. And we don't want to do it across all of them, we just want to do it in some of them. You see, you just touch it in, and it spreads out across. Similarly here, we'll do it on the hammer. Touch it in, and there it goes. Now obviously the more you have on your brush, the greater this effect is gonna be. So if we've got quite a fair bit on our brush, it's gonna to touch in like that. It's gonna disperse quite wide into all of the recess. So just use as much as you're comfortable with. I'm just going to do a little bit more just around the top here. Like that. And add some in here as well. Like so. So we'll demonstrate that one more time. On this guy. Again, just gonna grab a an amount. I'm just gonna touch it in and let it run round. Touch it in and let it run round. And again, as you can see, I'm not doing it all over. Just in a couple of areas, just to give it a little bit of variation like that. And then next up, just to finish off the effect, we want to take a tiny amount of Corax White and just in the largest areas and in the corners, just want to add a few dots of it here and there. There's a little highlight like that. And so with that done, you should have some pretty awesome looking lightning effects on the hammer and the shield. So what we're gonna do now is gonna take some thinned down flayed one flesh. I'm gonna use this to highlight the face. like this. And with that done, what we then want to do is take a teeny tiny amount of Volupus pink. I want to paint this inside the scar. So 
just like that. What we can also do is take a really small amount of Volupus pink just along his bottom lip. Add some of it like that. And so with that done, what we then want to do is take a tiny amount of Black Templar. We want to use this to colour in the eyeballs. I've got an itchy eyebrow. So with that done, what we now want to do is we want to take a small amount of Black Templar. We want to use this to paint in his eyeballs. And with that Black Templar applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Screaming Skull. I'm going to use this to one, colour in his left eye, well, his right eye. Like so. But then on his other eye, I want to add a little dot of Screaming Skull in either corner. Like so. And with that done, our face is now finished. It looks amazing. So <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're just going to quickly finish off those gems. This is the last thing for us to do. And the color we're going to be using is Blood Angels Red. Now we've got a gem here in the shield face. Like that. And we've got one here. Or well, we've got two on the hammer. So one there. And one there. Like that. We've also got the one here on the chest. And lastly, just to finish off those gems, we're going to take a small dot of Luganath Orange and add it to the sharpest point on each of them. At the kind of top of the pyramid, right in the middle. Just like that. Make them look a little bit shiny. And there we have it, our Celestial Vindicators, Stormcast Eternals, Annihilators are finished. And boy are they chonky. I mean, these guys really do stand head and shoulders above the rest of the Stormcast. Well, not really, they're about the same height, but they just look so thick and menacing and awesome in this colour scheme. I'm really, really pleased with how the Celestial Vindicators scheme covers onto these models because they are my amongst my favorite infantry models in the stormcast eternals range for now if you enjoyed this video you love the channel and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you you can do so head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster alternatively you can now become a youtube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here just like these absolute bosses have done and if you just want to shoot me a little thanks just because you really love this video you can click on the thanks button just below this video don't forget to share it like it comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.